Welcome to the talk update of the secure IT security study on OPC UA. My name is Jens Kort from the Federal Agency for Information Security. I will give you an update on the results of the new study that we have done during the last year. In 2015, the Federal Agency for Information Security did a first review of OPC UA. After Stuxnet in 2010, cybersecurity moved into focus of industrial control systems. So in the past, the, most of the ICS protocols don't have any security functions. So this was a problem and OPC UA seemed like a lit legitimate solution for this problem. So, because OPC UA claimed to provide security functions and be secure. And so we, we decided to do a first study. This study was started in 2016 and we wanted to check the specifications and wanted to, to know if the claim security in OPC UA is correct and is doing a good job. As already said, the project started in, in 2015 with the evaluation of the specification. Uh, back then it was the version 1.0.2 and we also checked or did a, a source code review of the C implementation that was provided by the OPC, OPC Foundation. So the, the results of the study were that we couldn't find any systematic errors in the specification. So this means there were no misuse of, of cryptographic parameters or something like that. Um, some recommendations were added in the, in the following versions of the specification of OPC UA, like adding elliptic curves and, and adding more hash algorithms and something like that. But uh, this was just kind of, of evaluation and adding new algorithms to, to keep the specification up to date. So, no, no systematic errors, as already said. So, and some minor problems in the reference implementation were also found, but they were really fast fixed by the OPC Foundation. And so there was some good feeling on, on the security mechanisms that were present in the in OPC UA. So since 2016, time goes by. Now we have uh, 2022 and the specification evolved. There were new features. There were updates on the, on the specification specifications and in 2020 we thought okay it's a good point to do an update on this review and we started to prepare the project and start start the, the new evaluation. Also, the usage of OPC UA increased, but where light is, there's also shadow. And 
yeah, some, some problems became obvious and one of the most problematic issues is that the security mode sign or sign and grip are hardly used and yeah that's especially these security modes are one of the key elements of the security features in OPC UA. The question was why are these features not used so much? Another problem was the certificate management. Um, when using the security mode sign in or sign in encrypt, you have to, to provide these certificates to validate the, the signatures or to, to encrypt the, the data. And in many cases, this, this certificate management was done manually or it was hard to, to change the, the certificates and there was no automation of this process. One reason for this was that no global discovery server that was specified was publicly available. So there was no real implementation of that. And yeah, that was And so two questions came came up by us and uh, OPC UA is still secure with all these changes to the specification, with adding new features, with changing processes or features. And the second question was, why is it so hard for operators to use these security features? And that was the main reasons why we decided to update the security analysis. So looking on, on new features and looking on, on changes in the specifications and to extend it and to look on the implementations and to, to yeah, do a kind of market study and look what security features are provided and why are there these problems according to, to using these security features. So the goals of the security analysis, of the second security analysis were, yeah, check the, the changes of the specification. At that point, the version 1.04 was uh, the actual state. Um, we did not include the PubSub feature into the, the analysis because it would be too, too big for the, the budget that we have to do this analysis. And so we, we excluded the PubSub part and just focused on the existing communication that was already um, analyzed in the previous study. And we tried to, to do a, another study on, on PubSub but that's not, there's no final decision to do that at the moment. And we also did a source code check and fuzzing on an open source implementation. And we did also a market analysis of available product in terms of security functions. So what do developers take care of during development, which security features are implemented and so on. So with uh, regard to the specifications, it's no surprise. Um, we didn't find any systematic errors in the, the, the specification 
uh, in the in the new specifications and we provided recommendations for clarifications of the of the specifications so that it was or it it will be easier for developers and implementers of the specification to use them and to avoid errors or problems or misinterpretations of the specification. I want to give uh, some results of the market study also and uh, because of that we, we also ask if it is planned to do an update from the older versions of OPC UA to a newer one and uh, yeah most of the vendors planned to to do an update and to support new versions but we also see one third of the vendors said no we don't plan to to support newer versions or to update these devices to to newer versions so we see that some devices will stay on yeah maybe older versions of the specifications and when when looking into this um we we see that some maybe really old versions are out there and are implemented in devices that are actually sold so there are some devices that only implement the specification 1 or 1.01 and yeah when 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 looking back to the study of of 2015 there were some algorithms that are not secure anymore and when looking to security updates are kind of a key feature to protect against new threats and to failures in the implementation and I would hope that more vendors are planning to to update to new specification or to to corrections of the specification and to provide secure products and implementation and when looking to to the authentication that uh, the products provide you can see that that most of the products provide the products provide username and password or probably the use of, of anonymous on and when looking to the on the authentication method that the product support you can see most provide the username and password or they provide an anonymous usage username and password you, you can use but it's not the the best way probably because it's it's hard to to manage the passwords and to change them on on a lot of different devices and then looking on certificate based based authentication you can see that maybe only support this this kind of authentication methods in in their products so um when looking on on these numbers uh, i have to say that probably this is not a representative survey um as you can see we had uh, 79 answers on, on these questions and uh, there are probably a lot more OPC UA products out there and maybe a lot more support the authentication with, on, on, with, with, set, with certificate but you can see kind of a trend and that is that we have security features specified, uh, specified but they are not implemented in product users can't use them or integrators can't integrate these these kind of these security me mechanisms in their machines and uh, we had another question on uh, yeah aut authentication and authorization authorization um, according to user access level on 
different nodes in the tree and this also shows that only 50% implement features like that and the other 50% doesn't implement that, that feature. Um, this is probably a, a real small part of the specifications and maybe a feature that is not often used. As you can see on, on the number of answers we got to this, to this question, but as I, I, I said with the authentication methods previously, we have security features specified and they are not implemented. And this is kind of a problem. And we probably have a, a secure protocol with good security features, but it doesn't help when these security features are specified and not implemented. Yeah, and when, when digging deeper into these kind of security features, you see that role-based security is implemented even fewer in, in, in product. So we, we see it from the authentication methods based on, on certificates that is not, not widely implemented. We see it on restrictions on, on the access level. It's not widely implemented. And when looking on, on role-based access, or something like that, it's get even fewer. So from the answers, maybe only one third have said, yes, we, we have that, that feature implemented and most vendors did, didn't implement it. And so I will, will come to, to a kind of con conclusion. And I mentioned it in, in the first part, um, we have a specification that describes security features that are really good and they should work and, and protect the, the data that are transferred and they are good for the, for the usage or the, for, for, the, for the different use cases and they use the, the right algorithms, they use the right techniques and also and, and describe them in the, in the right way and they are they provide all features that that need to be there but when looking into the practical implementations and when when looking into into product there is kind of a gap between the specifications of the security features and and the security and in the practical doing and usage of it. So this is probably one of the biggest tasks that we, we all have together. Um, we need to, to implement usable security. So security must be a supporting thing in the back of your product and it must be easily usable for yeah, your, your, your customers and the, the usage of the security features must be, must be fostered. So it must, it must be easy to, to use them and in the manuals of your products, you have to describe the, the correct usage of it. And there have to also be secure default setting. So when you, you, you roll out your product, there should be secure default setting. So it's not easy for, for your customers to use the product in a not secure manner. And one of the key elements to, to protect against attacks and, and weaknesses are updates. Updates have to be provided to your customers. You have to inform your customers about, about weaknesses and vulnerabilities in your, your products. And so the, the study, uh, the full results of the study can be uh, freely downloaded on the website of the German BSI. Um, at the moment, there's only a German version available. We are working on a translation at the moment. And 
I hope that we can provide them until the Hannover Messe and the document will also be available on our website for a free download and you're welcome to, to send me an email um, to get a reminder when, it, when the study is uh, ready for download and then I will, I will give you a hint where you can, can find the, the document for, to download it. Yes, thank you for your attention and uh, have a nice day. Bye.